It is April 7th, 2023 in Savannah, Georgia. And I'm just gonna show off some of my common persimmon seedlings that are a year old now that I planted last year from seed. Most of the seeds germinated in late March, 2022. This is the tallest one. This one grew three feet tall in its first year and it has been in the five gallon bucket since the seed germinated. You can find pictures of this one on a naturalist. This one, I just forgot, but I'm pretty sure I named this one Morgana. Cause I named my plants. So this is the one that grew three feet tall in the first year. And just like with the rest of them, it only got watered when it rained, so. And the leaves are breaking for this year. This one is one of the slowest ones for the buds to break. So that's Morgana, the three foot tall one. This one is named Yarok because it kind of split into a Y. This one's buds just broke. And this one was also planted in the five gallon bucket as soon as the seed germinated. Out. This one got like maybe two feet tall. Right here is as tall as it got last year. So now it's already sprouting out. Let me see. I do have a roller here. So it's already grown like six inches for this year from each of these nodes. And this one is that all of the tall ones that I'll show you today are a year old. Here's another one. This one was in a smaller container last year and then I put it in here later. So not as big by far. It's only like two hands lengths and then it's grown maybe three inches at the top. And this one doesn't have a name yet either but it's been in this reclaimed pot from Lowe's so this one grew maybe two feet if it were upright and this one's also growing super fast from the new stems you can see them there I think I have some over here Maybe I don't. Well, I can show you all the seedlings from this year so far. There were 40 seeds planted in here because I had them in rows of eight. And a squirrel, you can kind of see the indentations. A squirrel has decided it's going to help itself and dig some of them up and then just shove them in other places. So I keep finding them in random spots. <laughs> this little thing right here that looks like a wooden stem, that's another seed. That's probably having some problems. So these would can do with some watering. This red thing here, they curl up above the soil and then the leaves emerge. So these are all going to be separated out and I'll plant some of them in the wild. If people want to buy some, I'll sell some, but mostly they're just gonna get planted in the wild. I have some seedlings in here as a greenhouse to see if that would do anything. Not really, so there's that one, and this one over here. It's a palm seed that I was hoping would do something, but it's not. So there's 40 there. Did I show this one? Nope, I don't think I did. This is another one year old one that has been in this container for a while now. What's that there? Oh, well, there's a weird little insect there. Not sure what that is. But this one seems to be growing bigger leaves instead of just growing 
really long stem super fast, which is interesting. And I might as well just show off the pawpaws. This is a, I think, this one should be like two years old now. This is a common pawpaw grown from seed. I don't remember where we bought the seeds from exactly. And this is another one, both in five gallon buckets. They were in shade for like double shade because I had shade cloth over them. But they didn't actually like that because they wanted more light. So lesson learned. So they'll probably go brighter this year. And then in these big containers are pawpaw seedlings that I bought that were already a year old when I got them. And I did put nothing but miracle Grow in these containers. And they did not seem to like that because they barely grew at all last year. Which is really disappointing because miracle Grow is expensive. So maybe don't use miracle Grow on pawpaws. But this one is growing good now, but yeah. This thing barely grow at all. So maybe they'll do better this year. And then these, this is just Carolina horse nettle that we cloned last year since we can never find the mature fruits to save seeds from. You cannot eat them, but wild animals do, and we think they're pretty. And this is a scarlet runner bean that grows as a perennial down here because it's so warm and it's barely even winter, so it just re regrows from the roots. So this, well, oh, there's a little green and all. Can I get you on camera? Hey, you can see a little green and all. Bye. So this is a bean plant that's two years old. And this is my American hazelnut that, ooh, a little grasshopper. There you can see a little grasshopper. This is my American hazelnut plant. Has not fruited yet. It's like five years old or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it doesn't like the pot or if it needs more nutrients or if it's just not old enough yet. And then my coral honeysuckle, which I just gave a massive pruning to, so it's shorter now. <laughs> And Beatrice Lemon Tree. Who just, oh, there's another green and all up here, side eyeing me. But Beatrice is regrowing from the 15 degree freeze we had a few weeks ago, or a few months ago now at this point. And then as she was recovering from that, she also got crushed by a tree branch from the tulip tree up there. So we had to cut off a bunch of broken branches. She is not old enough to flower yet, but hopefully she will next year. And she's a lemon that was grown from seed. And because I wanted to see if it worked, you know how when you go to restaurants and you get iced tea with a lemon? Yeah, sometimes the lemons have seeds in them and that's where I grew Beatrice from, so. Yeah, it's a fun fact. This, oh, hmm. okay, well, this I didn't plant in here. This is a morning glory seedling, which is fine because they are native down here. And it's a piece of grass. Well, that's a baby pine tree. Sorry, you can't be in here. And then this is an Allegheny chinkapin or dwarf chestnut tree. It's related to the American chestnut, but it's a different species that I managed to clone last year from one I found. It'll probably be years before this can fruit or flower or anything. Here is another common persimmon. This one is a seedling from this year, so this one's like not even a month old yet. This is my swamp milkweed, which this wooden stem here is just there to mark it. I actually do need to give this another pot because it needs more soil on the bottom. But that's not regrowing yet. And 
These two are some small flower pawpaws that I managed to clone from wild ones, I think two years ago now, because the wild ones were in a spot where they kept getting mowed down. So we managed to dig up part of the stems with roots. So. And this one's growing really well, because this, this whole little stem right here wasn't here before. <laughs> But these are the smaller cousin to the common pawpaws that everybody grows. This is a baby American hazelnut seedling that's a year old now. These are some more small flower. No, these ones are the common pawpaw seedlings that I need to give their own pots because they've been in here for almost three years now and they came down from Pennsylvania in this container and this one here decided to take an extra whole entire year to germinate from seed than the other ones did so this one's a year old because it came up last year there's another there's a little there's a little insect on there and I keep finding them and I have no idea what they are And then this is, pretty sure this is one of my alpine strawberry seedlings. They just kind of pop up because birds help themselves. This is, let me see if there's anybody on here yet. This is butterfly milkweed, Asclepius tuberosa. Grown from a root rhizome because, I don't remember, I think I had them in a pot that was too small so I had to transplant them all. These are New England asters, which is native, and they'll have purple or something flowers. I don't remember what color those ones were. These are some of the feral oranges that we went to the park to dig up the one orange we found last year, and then we came home with 40 extra. So there's those ones, and then the rest are in here. Ignore these giant branches. These are what came off of Beatrice. All, the, all of those little plants in there, and there is a planted orange above them. Those are all orange trees, so we're going to give them away if anybody wants them. Let's see. This is the one we're going to keep, so it's in its own pot. Back there I've got more persimmon seedlings in plastic cups. And then next to them there's some elderberry clones. There's some rose cuttings in there. And where did it go? This is another common pawpaw. Uh, this one's pretty old now. I don't actually remember where we got this one, but it's growing really fast. So, yeah, you can see here, it's already grown six or seven inches just from this year so far. And then there's another one next to it. Yeah, I, I've got no idea where we got these from. They, they're, grow, just, they're just growing really fast. And here's another persimmon. That's just broken its buds. And then there's just rose cuttings around them. This is an angel trumpet. Which I don't know anything about. This is poor Bendy lemon tree who uh, well surviving from the 15 degree frost the whole main stem is dead but he's regrowing from over here bendy the intent behind the name is that at some point when he's taller I'm gonna bend him into weird shapes and make him just a weird looking tree so that is kind of delayed from him being so short again. These are just some citrus trees. I don't never remember which ones are which. The landlord has planted here. This is a clone of a wild persimmon tree I got. Don't know if it's male or female yet. Let's see. And this is a clone. Well, Here's some cloned dune ground cherries. And then this in here is 
Oops. This is a clone of a common pawpaw that we got from a root sucker. Well, we didn't really dig up any roots. It was mostly just the stem and some section at the bottom with roots. And yet another persimmon. And that's also a year old. <laughs> and I can show you this. This is a clone of a native crab apple I got. I wasn't sure if it would work, but it's still growing, so it's alive. And this is Malus angustifolia. So hopefully someday we'll have some crab apples that are native. And it'll be awesome. And the other two containers in here are just some more. And then this one they're in water to see if they would grow in water. Which they seem to be so far. Which is not as fast as the ones that were in dirt. In here I had some butterfly milkweed seeds. Uh, yeah, this lid was supposed to stay shut so weeds wouldn't get in, but somebody didn't listen, so we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, bye-bye.